Hey guys, my name is Anthony Serna, and I'm doing graphing linear inequalities. Some important vocab out of this is linear inequality itself. Inequality, inequality which involves a linear function that shows the data that is not equal in a graph. For every x value, there is only one y value. Half planes. A plane on a region consisting of all points on one side of an infinite straight line and no points on the other side. Important steps to graphing linear inequalities. First thing you want to do is rewrite an inequality in slope-intercept form. Here is my slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. You want to reverse the sign if multiplied or divided by a negative number. Second step, determine whether to use a solid or dashed line. When you want to determine to use a solid or dashed line, is if it is greater than or equal greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, that is when you want to use a solid line. To use a dashed line, it will just be greater than or less than. There is no equal to sign. So if it's greater than or less than, that is when you want to use a dashed line. For third step, determine whether to shade above or below the line. Um, a way to determine that is shade above the line if it is greater than, shade below the line if it is less than. There is also another way to figure this out and I will show you on my example. So example number one, I have my inequality. My inequality equals 2x plus 4y is greater than or equal to negative 16. So being that it is greater than or equal to 16 I will now do a solid line when I graph this so what I want to do now to turn this in to slope intercept form I want to subtract 2x from both sides I subtract 2x from this side this side cancels out I subtract 2x from 16 so now I'm left with 4y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 16 so my equation is 4y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 16. I want to divide by 4 from this side and this side as well. 4 divided by 4, negative 2x divided by 4, 16 divided by 4. So when I am here, I end up with y is greater than or equal to negative one half x plus four. I am now in slope intercept form and I can begin to graph. When I flip to my graph side, give me one second. I am still using intercept y intercept form. My equation is y is greater than or equal to negative one half x plus four. Like I said before, I am using a solid line. This is because it is greater than or equal to, which helps us determine whether to use a solid or dashed line. In this case, a solid line. So with my slope intercept form, I have my slope here and my y intercept here. So on my graph, I have one, two, three, Four. I am at point zero 0.04 on the graph representing my y-intercept. Now my slope is the negative one-half. With this, I want to start from my y-intercept. Being that it's negative, I want to go the opposite way of going as a positive. So I instead of going up one, I go down one, and then I go over two. Down one, over two, down one, over two. Now say I'm from here and I want to continue my graph more. If I was to go to still make it a negative, instead of doing it as a positive where you would go over two to the right, you will go over two to the left, over two points. And then you go up one. So it's the exact opposite. Go over two, up one. There are all my points for my graph to represent this equation. Now being that I said it was a solid line, 
I go ahead, I'll go ahead and put the line on there. Now my next step is to determine whether to shade above or below the line. So what I do is I chose to do uh, test points. So I did a random point under here, underneath the line, and then I'll do one from above the line. And then the equation will give us if it is equal to whatever, that'll tell us to shade below or to shade above. So my first one, I chose to do 0 0.00. zero right in the center of the graph. So what I do with that is I plug it in for my X value and my Y value. So zero is greater than or equal to negative one half times zero plus four. With that, zero is greater than or equal to zero because negative one half times zero is obviously zero plus four. I, in the end, I end up with zero is greater than or equal to four. 0 cannot be greater than or equal to 4 when it is less than 4. So this determines that I won't be shading down here below this line. So what I do to help determine me whether to shade above the line is I use the point, the point 10, 10. I didn't set it in here, but I will now. 10, 10. So I have my X and my Y. With this, I want to plug in my x and my y. 10 is greater than or equal to negative 1 half times 10 plus 4. 10 is greater than or equal to negative 5 plus 4. Okay, with this, 10 is greater than or equal to negative 1 because negative 5 plus 4 is 1. So 10 is obviously greater than negative 1, but it can also be equal to. Being that I, this equation is true, I should be able to shade above the line. So I shade above the line. And that's how you figure out how to graph shade and determine whether your line is dashed or a solid line. Moving on to my example number two. With this one, it is... I have my um, linear equation, y plus 1 is less than 2x. So I want to put it in the slope intercept form. What I do first, subtract 1 from both sides. This side cancel out. So now I'm left with y is less than 2x minus 1. With this being said that it's less than, I will be shading a dashed line. This is because it is not less than or equal to, it's just less than. So now I will have my points, my y-intercept form. So I have my y-intercept and my slope. My y-intercept is negative 1. My slope is 2 over 1 necessarily. So I have negative 1. I go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And I continue the same thing, same thing from down here, up to over one, up to over one. There, I am at my y intercept now. Being that it is a dashed line, I dashed it. Now I move on to determine whether I shade above or below the line. So what I did is I did the points again. So I did zero, zero, and I got. 0 plus 1, I'm using my original equation of the linear equation, the linear inequality equation, I'm sorry. You have 0 plus 1 is less than 2 times 0, plugged in as my x, plugged in as my y. 0 plus 1 equals 1, 2 times 0 equals 0, so 1 is less than 0. That is false, being that my point is at zero zero that'll determine that I don't shade above the line I will be shading below the line this another way to help determine it like I said before is that it is less than if it is less than you will shade beneath the line if it is more than you will shade above the line 
this is all I have. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.